This is a sample of the Dormacaba 7.9 T-Series lock that runs on ResShield software. It's also basically the same product uh, as an RT lock running on community software. Typically in a multi-family application, the lock will be defaulted to run in a toggle mode. And basically what toggle mode is, normally when the lock is in a secured condition on the inside, when the resident leaves, by rotating the lever, they also retract the deadbolt and it puts the lock into an unlocked condition. The resident or valid user can lock the door from the outside by presenting a valid credential or from the inside by rotating the thumb turn, which in this model will also extend the deadbolt and a lock returns into a secure condition. Occasionally, we may have a site where uh, the lock will not toggle into a passage mode and assuming the software was set up correctly to enable that feature, there are a couple things to check on the installation. Uh, the most common issue you may run into, if you remove the inside three screws, you can see I already moved a couple of them. Take out the last screw. So on the inside trim, you want to verify the plug is connected for the toggle switch, that there are no pinched wire issues. You also want to make sure that you have the springs are properly attached. That will reset this mechanism. And then another thing to check for on the outside housing of the lock is during the installation, it's critical to make sure that the thumb turn on the inside half of the lock is properly installed. It's kind of hard to see here on the camera, but there's basically a line in the housing and a line on this hub that need to line up for the lock to operate properly. So during installation, that's critical because if you install it out of rotation, the lock will not operate in a proper function. The other thing is during installation, this thumb turn spindle does clip into the outside half of the lock. If it's not properly engaged over time and of the door slamming, this may come out of position. And even though the lock from the inside will throw and retract the deadbolt, it is not gonna operate the uh, privacy switch. And you can actually hear an audible indication of the privacy switch engage and disengage, even with the lock in your hand. So you can see it goes into an unlock condition, lock condition or actually the other way around, unlocked condition, locked condition. So those are just a couple things to check for in the installation.